bringing in this cohort of students who really celebrate their intersectionality and allow them to be educated on the asset management business and specifically the investment space. How are we going to make this work in order to give them an experience that's worthwhile? It starts with us ensuring that the trainer pool are diverse. In terms of sharing um, background and experiences, we need that reflected in our trainer pool to make sure that we're giving a, a best-in-class programme and it's something that is, is really important to us. With everyone being virtual, learners will have the exact same experience and opportunities and it really creates an equal playing field. We're sort of in that position where we're still trying to decide as businesses about how we're going to attack uh, 22 with everything that's going on in the world today. We need to focus on how we're going to incorporate the smaller offices in and, and make sure that they're networking. We've built on that uh, skills framework to then continue the development journey for the graduates so that is saying that you know they come into the organization with a known set of strengths or perhaps development areas maybe that come out of what they've learned about themselves and what we've learned about them uh, through the recruitment process but then it's taking those strengths and development areas building on them over the course of the 18 months two years and actually consolidating strengths and further working on those development areas so if we look at our graduate programs as attracting and developing future leaders for the organisation. I think when building early careers programmes historically, we focused on what technical and what behavioural skills we can provide based on the business need, the critical skills for the future and the learning trends that we're seeing in the industry. With our philosophy being that the onus is very much on the employee to drive and own their own career development. It's our job to signpost how they do this early doors and we give them the supporting tools and the opportunities throughout the programme to do it. Learners are actively seeking more opportunities to volunteer, to get involved and give back more to society and the planet and be part of an employee resource group. How can you continue to make a difference in not only your lives, but those that you interact with? How can you continue to develop your skills to think past those three years? We need to sort of make sure that they're welcomed in a really appropriate manner in their own home, even though they're across the globe. Keep it fun, uh, keep it lighthearted, giving them time with leaders, peers, 